Hi guys, Micro here. This is my road to becoming a Slayer Master series. This is episode 3 and this episode is called Mastering My Attack. Before we get started, as always, I want to give you a useful item. This time I'm going to talk about Bone Crusher and Demon Horn Necklace. The Demon Horn and Bone Crusher combo can help so much while slaying because of the fact that the Bone Crusher can automatically bury the bones for the prayer points that the necklace gives you when a bone is buried. This means you don't have to bury any bones to get your prayer points, it does that for you so you get infinite prayer points just for killing monsters. It requires 90 Dungeoneering and 90 prayer for the Demon Horn Necklace and costs 35,000 Dungeoneering tokens. The Bone Crusher requires 21 prayer and costs 34,000 Dungeoneering tokens. The infinite soul split and turmoil is because every time a bone is buried it gives you prayer back from the necklace. So the necklace gives prayer back at different rates depending on the bone. So the better the bone, the more prayer you'll get back. This means it's perfect at tasks like Dark Beasts and any dragon tasks etc. Anything with big bones or dragon bones is perfect. It's really worth investing in these items if you do Slayer a lot. It just makes life so much easier. Never having to take food on tasks like that is awesome. We're starting from where we left off last time and our Slayer XP is at 20.23 million and our level is 103. The first task I got given was Dark Beasts, so that's a good way to start it off. I managed to get something quite cool that you don't see too often. I got two Dark Bows in the space of five kills, so I thought that was a cool way to start off the video. Obviously they're not worth anything, but if it was old school, I'd be cheering right now. While doing the Dark Beasts task, my Scythe leveled up to level 12, so I siphoned it and got 128 Invention. So that's always pretty nice, getting those higher levels. Next up I got Abyssal Demons, another one of my favourite tasks. Make sure when doing a task in the Slayer Tower to go to the guy outside and get a special Slayer task. He'll give you a special Slayer task with the amount of kills on your Slayer assignment and then you'll get an XP Tome at the end. The XP Tome is really useful as you can do it in any combat stat. I put it in attack as I'm close to 120. Next up I got given some greater demons, so I went to Krill of course, hoping my luck was as good as last episode. While killing a minion for kill count I got some War Priest of Zamorite Greaves, I'm pretty sure these are the last ones I needed. And then also while killing these minions I got the ability to burn bones on a fire, so cremation is pretty cool, I don't think I'll ever use it but it's a cool ability to unlock. Turns out right at the start of my Slayer task I got a Ward of Subjugation drop. It was under 550k so it didn't have a loot beam for me but it's still an awesome drop straight away. About 20 minutes later I got a Zamorak Spear drop which is pretty nice, 925k for that one. There was actually one more piece of War Priest that I needed and that was the boots. I got that literally at the same kill count as I got the other one because it was just from a minion. As you can see it's still 181. That's pretty cool. About another 20 minutes passed and I got a Steam Battle Staff. Again, it's not really worth much money, but it's a rare drop either way, so I thought I'd include it. I went back to get kill count and finish off my 60 kills. I got some Dragon Boots as a drop. They're quite rare and it's nice seeing drops like this. I know they're not worth any money, but it just makes me smile. Like the Dark Bows. About 20 kills after I got back, I got a Dragon Helm. I don't know whether that's a rare drop table item or just a rare drop. I just found it really odd getting that from a God Wars Dungeon 1 boss. But then just before my task was over, I managed to get some Boots of Subjugation. Followed up 5 kills later by some Gloves of Subjugation. So that was a really good way to end the task and I'm happy with that one. Looks like Krill still loves me like he did last episode. I picked up a death assignment after I killed Krill thinking oh I might get him and I did. So I'll have to go back to Krill whenever I get a greater demon task to do this reaper assignment as well. Probably should have picked it up beforehand but we live and learn. I got a black dragons task so I wanted to kill some KBD to try for the pet there as well and then I'll go for QBD after I've got the KBD pet. I didn't get anything good at KBD really. I managed to get a dragon helm and that's probably the most interesting thing I got. The rest were just rune items and random junk that I've put in my loot tab. Next up I got given some aviancies which is pretty cool so this is turning into quite a lot of bosses in this video. I've done krill, KBD and aviancies. So I went to Kree, my range gear is quite bad, 
I've got tier 85 weapons in glaives. I do have tier 90 power armor, but that's probably my best part of the gear. Kree takes quite a long while for me to kill, about 50 seconds, as she has more HP than Krill, and obviously my range gear isn't quite as good. I managed to do all of the kills, got my 300th Slayer task done, and a lot of nice points come in my way. Unfortunately, I didn't get any drops from Armadil though. After Armadil, I done some Aerates, managed to get 104 Slayer there, which is awesome, which means I've gained a whole level this video so far. This one particular Aerates task was absolutely awesome. I got five different rare drop table loot. I managed to get 650k in uncut dragonstones, 13k in molten glass, 14k in lobsters, 207k in soft clay, and 32k in teak planks. The soft clay and the dragonstones were the awesome ones here. But to get five rare drop table items in one task I thought was pretty cool. And look how many Tusker Mass Fragment pieces I have in my inventory. I managed to get six of those in this task as well. That's absolutely insane. Then it was back to Dark Beasts and I got Brawling Gloves for Fire Making. So that's the first pair of Brawling Gloves we've seen drop in this Slayer series. So that's always a good item to start adding to the loot tab. Next up was Iron Drags and I managed to get a Dragon Plate Skirt drop. It's only 170k, but like I said, these type of drops just make me happy. Next up, I got a Steel Dragon task, and it's really strange because I got a Dragon Plate leg drop this time. Same amount of money, but just the legs instead of the skirts. That's a weird coincidence, but awesome either way. Next up, I got given some Shadow Creatures. I haven't done these in ages, so I thought I'd give it a go. Killing the Manifest Shadows were really, really good XP. You don't really get any money at all. I think I made 300k from the whole task. But the XP is great. It's like 1k XP per kill. So when you have a Slayer assignment of 130, that's 130k XP. Soul Split easily keeps your life up as well. So it's a nice, easy, chill task to do. I quite enjoyed it, and I'll keep doing these in the future. Decent XP. I got given a cow fight task, so I just banned them because I can't really be bothered with them. So now my ban list and preferred list look like this. I have Dagonoff, Lava Strike Worms, Tuzar, and cow fight as my block list and my preferred lists are Dark Beast, Aerates, Greater Demons, and Abyssal Demons. I want to add Celestial Dragons to my preferred list, and I don't know what I'll add to my ban list yet, just whatever I can't be bothered with I guess. While killing my Sith task of Dark Beast, because he really wanted to give me Dark Beast this time, I managed to get 120 attack, which is an amazing milestone, and I'm really pleased with it. Managed to get my second 120 in the game. So now I'll start focusing on leveling some strength while doing Slayer. I went straight to the Warriors Guild and picked up my 120 attack cape. So then I had to make an outfit to go along with it. Let me know what you guys think of the new outfit and whether you like this one or the invention one better. I managed to get some nice red bits to go along with the cape, some nice red booties, and the ringmaster hat looked pretty good with the attack cape. I'm not sure about this compared to the invention cape, so let me know which one you guys like better. I'll probably alternate both. Then coming to the close of tasks, I want to do 20 per video. So for my 18th task, Morvran wanted to give me Greater Demons, so I jumped to the chance of doing Krill, obviously. I managed to get my Reaper task done at the same time, which is always good. That bonus Slayer XP is nice. And then about 5 minutes later, I got a Boots of Subjugation drop, which is always nice. Again, Krill is loving me with these drops. About 20 minutes later, I got a Zamorak Hilt again, so another 900k in my pocket. I didn't manage to get any more drops on this Slayer task, although I did get 100 strength. Getting to 100 strength was much easier than leveling to 120 attack, so the levels feel pretty good right now, so they should come in much, much more frequently, which is nice. After that Krill task, I got another Aerates task. After the Aerates task, I was able to do Krill for my 20th task. So it's nice of Morfran to give me Krill as my 20th task. And straight away as I start killing him, he gives me a Starved Ancient Effigy, which is always a really cool drop to see. About half an hour later, I got another Zamorak Hilt drop, which is my third one this video, which is absolutely insane. Not long after this, about 5 minutes later, I got a Hood of Subjugation drop. Another awesome item from Krill. At least I know where to camp if I want to get some good loot in the future. About another 10 minutes passed by and I got another Zamorakian Spear. Another 900k in my pocket yet again. Absolutely awesome. 
and then finally another 10 minutes go past and I get my last drop of the video and it is a garb of subjugation which is 2.7 mil best drop so far from Krill I don't know what it is about Krill but he just really likes giving me loot in this video alone I got every single piece at least once except for the gown of subjugation but I got two of those last episode so that's okay I don't know what it is but my luck here is absolutely insane now I just need the pet and then I can complete my Krill adventure as for my loot tab, not too much has changed. I've got all of the War Priest parts now and my Fire Making Brawlers. Got quite a few Tuscar Mask pieces now. Then loads and loads of herbs, loads of seeds, tons and tons of super attack strengths and defenses from God Wars Dungeon. So that's pretty cool. Even the super restores are really adding up. I've had two rare drop table drops and the rest are from Krill. As you can see, it's just loads of bulk items adding up over time. I've got tons and tons of rune now. Over 100 rune plates, 122 rune chains, 142 rune full helms. Got my dragon plate legs and plate skirt added to the loot tab now. So all in all, going really well. The amount of pieces of subjugation I've got is absolutely silly. Then we've got my Zamorak hilts. And the Zamorakian Spears. All in all, loot tabs looking quite hefty. I'm not 100% sure on how much this is all worth. But I'm going to estimate around 100 mil at least. So yeah, getting some good gains guys. And I'll keep you updated with the loot tab for every video. So that rounds up this Slayer video. My current level is 104. And I've got 22.62 million experience. Which means in this video I've gained around 2.5 million experience in Slayer. The task that I did to get me there was one Steel Dragon and one Iron Dragon task. I did two Shadow Creatures, one Kree, three Eretz, two Abyssal Demons, three Krill, six Dark Beasts and one King Black Dragon. I'd like to do some more Krill in the future, obviously because he's given me such good loot. So getting three of these was really awesome in this episode. Kree would also be really nice, even though my kill times are slower. I quite enjoyed that task and I really liked doing range rather than melee for a little bit. So it helps mix it up a little bit, so that's quite good. King Black Dragon is good because I want to go for that pet. I'm on about 400 or 500 KC with King Black, so hopefully I'll be able to get around the 800 mark. I'm on about 600 KC for Krill as well, so hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to push that 1k and start doing some hard mode to try for the pet even more with Krill. Other than that, I really enjoyed doing all of these tasks like I said I'm going to try and aim to do 20 tasks each time obviously I won't show every single task but if I do 20 I'll have some good ones to show all round I hope you enjoyed it I sure did enjoy doing these tasks especially the Krill ones because we all know he loves me for some reason thanks for watching and I hope this one was as good as the other two so I'll try and do one Slayer video every week or week and a half for you guys as you guys seem to enjoy this series plus I really enjoy Slayer so it works out well give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new I've got a couple of things to say quickly you can join the friends chat micro for a chat and just a chill that's always been open but now we've got the clan goblin slayers all viewers are welcome to join this clan and we're going to have weekly clan events we're going to have one pvm event and one skilling event each week members are able to join chill learn new bosses with pvm like this time we're going to do caliphate king and then different bosses as we go along get everyone interacting and have people learning new bosses and just get the clan active and everyone have a good time and that's why i've made this one anyway there is now a discord server open and the link will be in the description to that one i'll be there along with a load of different viewers and clan members and things so if you fancy coming and saying hello or having a chat then feel free to pop in if i'm not there there'll be plenty of other people to talk to i'm sure hopefully we can get that as active as we've got the friends chat and the clan so far the clan's going strong we've got over 50 members now nearly already up upgraded to a citadel level 2 on thursday so that's awesome like always give me a suggestion in the comments below if you have any until next time see ya